Hi guys, this is the next video. I'm so sorry it's been so long, but as you can see in the background, I've moved house. I've also moved job, so a lot of things are changing at the moment, and that's why it took so long to just even have time to record a new video. Um, but what I wanted to come in, what I wanted to do before I get onto the requests, which I will do today, and I'm also going to do a vlog, so you just kind of know a little bit more about what's going on. Um, I wanted to come to you with some essentials that you don't have to pay over the, you know, an, an enormous amount of money for essentials and makeup. Um, one thing I found when I was travelling back to Ireland through um, the airport was, I was in London in Gatwick and I was just getting some essentials um, for the trip, um, you know, travel size essentials, things like that. And I came across their Boots collection and it's called Work the Colour. It's a new palette and this is what it looks like. Okay, it's called Work That Colour. And basically, um, they're the, these, co these colours are numbered, so you've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you have a one and a three, and this is like a cream kind of textured kind of base. So you use this before you do anything else. And I have it on today, and I the purposely didn't do it too um too intense just to show you the difference that you can the different kind of colours that you can use. The reason why I liked this is because I have got a boots advantage card, but even if you didn't, it would be five pounds fifty. If you do, it's two pounds, and I, that is amazing. And it's good for experts, but it's also good for people to have in their kit for beginners because on the back, it j basically goes through each section of what you need to do. So um, step one is blend the lighter shade, which you choose from which palette you want it to be. So if you want it to be from this this section, it would be here, and if you want it to be from this section, it would be this one right here. If I just open up the colors, it might be easier for you. Now, it does look a bit used, guys, I'm sorry, <laughs> um, but I have got a lot of use out of it, which is good. Um, so basically, yeah, so you have the first section here. So this is a light colour. This is numbered one. I know you can't see it. This has just got the highlighter or the base, um, and this is three. This is the darker tone. So you put this on first, and basically, so you choose either from here, down, which you want to go for. So this one will go all over the lid, okay? And then step two is use the medium shade to add definition to the centre of the eyelid. So these are the medium shades here. Get the closer for you. You can see the twos are on their number two. So you basically just use that for definition, basically. So just above here. You can kind of see where I've done it. I've done it very light because we're coming into spring, we're coming into summer. If you want to keep that kind of smoky eye going, you can, but you can kind of do a lighter version of it. So that's what I've done, and it keeps your eyes fresh, but it also gives your eyes a little bit of definition, and it kind of, if you don't like the shape of your eyes, it kind of gives you that added um, kind of definition that you're looking for. And then the third one is brush the darker shade from the outer corner and blend to the centre of the lid. So that was like a kind of a sweep. And you can actually bring that down to the lower lash line as well. And here is the number threes here. They're quite dark. This is the lightest, this is kind of a medium, and this is the, it's almost like charcoal. Um, but it's beautiful. Now, the only step I didn't take, obviously, because we're coming into spring, we're, well, summer, spring is almost over. It is over at this stage. Um, I didn't use this step, but you could if you wanted to make it a nighttime look. That's absolutely fine. And I just thought for two pounds to pick this little, you know, thing up is amazing. And especially with the um, uh, the price as well it was amazing. And, you know, the, the instructions on the back for beginners is absolutely great. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you, so that's just, it will be linked to my blog. I'm gonna, by the time this video is updated, my blog will be completely updated, Kira Explosion of Beauty. Um, so this is called the Work the Colour, and it's from Collections at Boots. And again, if you have a Boots Advantage card, it's £2. If you don't, it's £5.50. Um, another great little thing to bring on holiday with you as well for summer. Um, now, the next thing I wanted to show you is um, a basically a brand I love and if you remember my first videos the palettes I always used were W7 this is w 7s brow kit and again you have great for beginners your step-by-step -step guide so basically in the brow it's called the W7 brow bar I'm not sure I'll have pictures for you but I know it's sunny today so it's quite hard to to see it that's the brow bar so you've got your little palette here and in the palette you have your four like a quad I guess You've got your colours, and then you've got your eye, you've got your brow brush, brush, sorry, and your kind of, um, I suppose like another kind of defining brush that you can use as well to sweep. And basically, what you do is you comb your brush, your brows first. So comb them upwards. This is what I would usually do anyway, when you're kind of plucking them or whatever you use to to create your your shape. 
and then you just place the eyebrow stencil and it's quite hard to see the stencil in the, in the light but I will bring it closer so there's like a stencil here for your eyebrows that you place over your eyebrows and um, for your shape so you use the brush then so obviously you get your desired position right correct and then you brush the eyebrow with a color shade that matches your hair and that's a really important step so you've got your four colors here so if you're kind of a blondish brown and this one, if you're very light, this one, if you're kind of in between medium and, and dark like me, um, I'm not completely black in my hair, but I, I'm that kind of medium brown, dark brown. You kind of mix it between these two. And then obviously for the really dark, you can use these two here as well. So basically then you carefully brush the eyebrow with the color shade that matches your hair. Then you just remove carefully the eyebrow stencil from the eyebrow and you get something like this at the end. And again, pictures will be up on my um, blog, Pure Explosion of Beauty. Again, guys, I got this in the original factory shop, which is a basically a massive outlet in the UK. And they do makeup, they do clothes, they do houseware. They're, they're just a big outlet, but they do everything at a reduced price. So it did say recommended retail price, £15. Our price, 5 I'm not kidding, 5 I mean, this, you know, this kind of thing will last as well. Because you can bring that in your case, you can bring that anywhere, you can put these in your make, if you have like a brush bag, put those in, just add these to your brush bag, because they're quite good quality as well. Um, and there you go, you've got your brow kit, and it's called the W7 Brow Bar, and I will link in my blog where all of that was um, got as well. Again, the original factory shop in Cartoon is where I got that. The next thing, and it, again, it's a W7 product, um, it was just a palette that I picked up that I just caught my eye, um, because I know a lot of palettes recently that have been kind of exploding have been the naked palettes and things like that and it's been like almost um kind of crazy the attention it's gotten and when I saw um this it's called 10 out of 10 from W7 and I'll just open it for you so you can see the colors um it really caught my eye because um when I as I said in the beginning of the video my um my first ever um double palette was from W7 and the reason I chose W7 is because their colors and their pigments last so here is the the palette. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have ten colours and they range from creams, browns, and they have the orange browns. And there are some really, really pigmented ones here. I don't know if that's showing. That might be easier. Beautiful colours, absolutely stunning colours. Um and again, something to add to your kit just to have, you know, and you can either use it on others or you can use it on yourself. And um, for the price, I thought it was amazing. And this is again the, in the fac original factory shop, and I got this for two pounds fifty, and it was recommended retail at, retail price at ten. Um, so again, you're really getting a bargain there. Um, and the colours, the reason I knew from the see on the top it says W Seven, and I knew that brand very well because the quality of their colours um, are very very good. Um, these little things came with it. I usually just throw them away and I use my own brushes, but um, again, it's up to you. If you were on holiday and you didn't really have access to your brow um, kit, or sorry, your brush kit, you could use these, but again, I, I would just use my own brushes. Um, so again, that was £10. It was originally £10, and I got it for £2.50 at the original factory shop. And there is the, the colours there. Amazing colours, really, truly amazing. So um, the reason it reminded me of the of the naked palette was because if I just bring it up to the, if you look at the lower section, the colours are extremely pigmented and it kind of reminded me of the original naked palette in a way. Um, so that was that, and again, two pounds fifty is amazing. Um, so you do know, when you know where to you know where to go to get bargains and things like that, stick to those places and fill up your kit with things like that. And then when you do. I'm not saying don't get MAC products or don't get, you know, very expensive products because I do sometimes go and get, you know, some original, really quality MAC products and all their products are usually quality but I usually like to, to kind of take my time and look around and then in the meantime just to, to fill my kit and things like that I will have these little things here and W7 are a really good brand so it's not like you're kind of wasting your money and not getting a good product either. So you are saving money um, in how much you spend and you're also you know, you're seeing the benefits in the makeup as well. So that was that. Again, that was W7. Um, just moving on to powder quickly. When I did get the um, Work the Colour from Collections, I also got a Collections Sheer Powder. And I think a lot of sheer powders in the higher brands, they all do the same thing. And of, um, I have chosen in before, I've got MAC Clear Powder, Sheer Coverage, 
that kind of thing. But Collection 2000 have come out with um, just their sheer loose powder. Um, and I'm using this all the time, it's great, um, because it really sets your makeup for the entire day and sometimes I'm going out of the house for 12 hours a day um, and it's a long time to keep your makeup on and keep it kind of um, looking correct and not kind of, especially with the different weathers, hot and cold, your face can really react to that as well. So it basically comes with a little um, powder sponge, um, which I sometimes use if I'm in a rush, but I usually tend to use my own make um, foundation. Um, or powder brush and you get a little set like that so it has the little um, holes in the middle so you can kind of shake how much you want out so you don't waste any product which is really good as well and again that was £3.50 at Boots um, I think with the Advantage card again it was just £5 but even £5 is without the Advantage card sorry is really really good so that's Collections Sheer Loose Powder Again, sticking kind of to the spring, summer, coming into summer, and you want to use foundation, but you don't want to use something really, really heavy. I mean, I use I, I use a lot of MAC um, in the winter, just because I like the, the heavy coverage it gives me, you know. Um, but for the spring and for the summer, um, in the spring I constantly use this, um, and it's from Garnier, and in the summer I'm going to plan to stick to it. And it's just their BB cream, um, that's what it looks like. It's from Garnier and it's the Miracle Skin Perfector. And this is on just over the under the powder, and that's all I have on today. Um, <clears throat> and I feel for me, for somebody who only needs, if you're a person that only needs minimal coverage, minimal minimal to medium coverage, this is perfect for you. Obviously, go for a full foundation if you um, need that heavy coverage, you know. And uh, for example, when I was younger, I suffered suffered a lot from um, exe not eczema, but kind of spots that left scars and so it was I was always conscious and over time I kind of really took care of my skin and they minimized and minimized eventually I was uh, kind of had a, a clearer complexion but um, if you are lucky enough to kind of be able to use something as light as that in the summer particularly being the hot weather that we get now and then um, BB cream is perfect for that because it's like a tinted moisturizer basically and it really covers the areas that you need covered so again this I got in boots and it was six pounds and this is the combination to oily skin. You can get different ones. This is the combination because I do have combination skin. I have an oily T-zone. Um, but you can get the normal one as well. And that's that. Just lastly, I just wanted to move on to hair. Um, because I don't always do a lot with my hair. I like to get it cut. I like to keep it in good condition. Um, I have in between curly and straight hair. Today it's, it's kind of straightened. Um, but in the meantime, what I like to do um, is just use an oil in my hair that I can use when it's wet and when it's dry. Um, so this is what, why I go to um, Ivana, she's my hairdresser, and she recently got me um, some Moroccan argan oil from Avon. And again, bring this on holiday as well for your summer holiday because when you're going away, the heat really tends to react to people's hair differently. For example, if I'm kind of out all day on holiday, my hair will get quite oily after three or four hours, but just, just from being exposed to the sun. Some people get dried out hair, for example, they go the complete opposite way and you know they'll come back in from a day out, for example, and they'll find their hair is almost straw-like. I find literally my hair is, even if I've washed and dried it that day, my hair is, it, it kind of have a dampness to it. So this is what, I was explaining this to um, Ivana, my, the hair stylist that I go to, and she recommended, she actually gets these, she sells them kind of to her clients and she uses them herself as well. Um, so she's not exactly an Avon rep, but she does kind of have access to Avon um, products. Um, and she gave me Avon Advanced Techniques um, Moroccan Argan Oil Leave-In Treatment for All Hair Types. So she, what she did when she cut and dried my hair is she just pumped a little bit. And you only need, I'm just going to use my, like a pump, that's it, like that. And this is what it looks like. And the smell is beautiful. Um, so she just, she rubbed that in her hands like this really quickly. And she literally just went through the bottoms of my hair and the tops. She made, made sure not to go right to the roots. And she went the whole way around my hair as it was still wet. And then she blow dried it. And then for the very, very end, she got the smallest amount. Just like this. Like that. And obviously there was still some residue left on her hands anyway. She just did that in her fingers. Tip, just really, And then she just that to the ends and literally my hair just smelt the smell of argan and moroccan all together is beautiful anyway um i do have like um a treatment that you leave in overnight it's just like um a cream for your hair basically and you just leave it in kind of wrap up your hair 
then the next day it's just smooth and it stays like that for a week, you know, for a few days at least. And I tend to use it because my hair is kind of coarse anyway. But she said, particularly if you're going away, particularly if you're having, you know, your hair just reacts to the weather differently, um, have something like an oil um, to kind of put in your hair. And an oil particularly that it's suitable for wet and dry hair. And that's what really appealed to me because sometimes I don't have time to dry my hair. I don't have time to be kind of doing all of that. I need to kind of up and go. So she said, this is perfect. If you, if you haven't got time, you need to tie it up. You need to do something with it. Put this in. First of all, brush it out really nicely. Make sure there's no knots. Put some of this in. Really take the time. It only takes a few minutes to go through. Um, and then either tie it up or do something with it and then throughout the day it'll start to work on your hair so I would recommend that as well it's advanced techniques 360 degrees um, nourishment Moroccan Arab um, argan oil and that's what it looks like and you do get for example I didn't use a lot there so you can imagine how much use I'll get out of this bottle and it was six pounds I think Avon it's like 15 but she gave it to me for six so that's quite good as well so that was just a quick um, I mean it's 16 minutes now so it's not quick quick but it was just a quick um, Essentials for kind of my, what I would um, think would be essentials for um, makeup and hair for the spring summer 2014. Um, I will be now going on to the requests, but there were just some products that I picked up lately that I just kind of wanted to show you guys and tell you about. I will be doing a vlog just so you can kind of get up to date on where I've been and things like that as well. But thank you for looking at the video and I'll see you in the next requested tutorial. Thank you.